Hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. In this video, I'm going to touch base upon a very interesting feature in DNAC called DNAC License Manager. And uh, the, this video is not about Cisco Smart Licensing because if you want to know more about Smart Licensing, you can watch my other two videos where I have touched base upon uh, given you a high-level high overview of what is Smart Licensing and uh, how to uh, registered to a CSSM from device perspective. In this video, we are going to specifically talk about how you can use DNAC uh, for your license uh, management. Uh, so I'm, I'm using Cisco uh, DNAC 1339. Um, there may be some changes coming in uh, new versions, but this video is in 1339. So let's get started with our topic. DNAC License Manager, Cisco DNA Center License Manager feature help you visualize and manage all your Cisco product license, including smart account licenses. Uh, when you purchase um, <coughs> Cisco IAC 1610, that's where the uh, smart licensing start started and it is enabled by default. So what is the prerequisite for this video? Uh, you need to have a super admin access uh, to DNAC. Uh, then you have a uh, smart account and virtual account information handy with you. If you don't have it, check with your purchasing department. Smart licenses, uh, check if you have smart licenses available in your smart account. And finally, we will uh, use direct connectivity method. So that means my device uh, uh, switches will directly reach out to uh, CSSM, which is Cisco Software uh, Management Portal uh, directly over the internet. Uh, to register themselves. <clears throat> so how, excuse me, so wh what are the different steps to uh, achieve this? Step one is make sure you have licenses in your smart account. Uh, step two, uh, configure call home. So now you have to configure your network element. So make sure that you have call home transport type configured on your network element and have reachability to CSSM. I'll show you a uh, config snippet how to do that. Uh, make sure uh, then come back to DNAC and configure your CCO and smart account credentials in DNAC. Once you configure your CCO and smart account credentials within DNAC, DNAC can go to uh, smart account and read all the licenses. And finally, we will use DNAC to register the devices um, uh, with CSSM. So you can actually, you have seen in my earlier video that you can go to individual devices and say, smart license register and provide a token ID. Here, you can use DNAC to do that. All right, so here is a config snippet uh, I put on my screen. I think it's better to see on no uh, Word document rather than the device itself. So what is different here for me is I have network reachability via <coughs> outbound interface. That, that is via, via the VRF. You may have direct connectivity, so your case may be different, but uh, more or less it's same. My connectivity is via VRF, that's why I'm using VRF everywhere. So you can see that I have my name server and uh, DNS uh, defined. Then the call home profile, under call home profile, I have my source interface and VRF configured. So if you have VRF con uh, connectivity via VRF, make sure you have configured your VRF and that, that is it. How to verify? You can do a quick verification. You can try to tell it to tools.cisco.com on 443 using your source interface, whatever your interface you are using to reach uh, internet or uh, CSSM. So this is the call home config. Uh, let's talk a little bit about call home profile. What is call home profile? You can see that we are here profile Cisco TAC1, right? Starting uh, 1691 for switches and 1610.1 for router. Default call home profile name Cisco TAC1 is generated to assist the migration to smart license. By default, this profile is set up for direct uh, cloud access method. So what, what goes into this profile? If you do show call home profile and then um, profile name, you can say all also, but I have given the profile name. It will send you the, it will show you the detail of the profile. So profile mode is active. At one point of time, only one profile can be active. So I have this profile active. Profile mode is full re reporting smart licensing and you can see the frequency periodic uh, configuration and inventory one day and on the time other things alert group and all 
so this this goes into call home profile but this is uh, available by default when you have your transport mode set as call home what you can do at switch to validate uh, i have i am running a couple of debugs on my switch if you want you can run those debugs uh, to understand it more i have a debug running for http client all and uh, because this, we are using http to go to cssm and at the same time we will be de debugging smart licenses currently uh, before registration if you want to check your license status show license status you can see smart licensing is enabled if you are on ios 60 version 12 uh, 16 10 and above so your licensing will be enabled by default uh, what you want to see is uh, transport type this should be call home that mean uh, you are you going to use this profile cisco tag profile and registration so status uh, it may differ uh, when you are not registered it may be unregistered or eval expired or anything um, so but in our final demo this should go into registered state and that's that's what we will be watching you can also do a couple of debugs in dnac side okay so in dnac side license manager and license services these are the two uh, services responsible for licensing and that's what you can see max abstract uh, abstract status if i filter with license these are the two license services available and i'll be running a, a, a debug on dnac uh, so i want to capture service log for my license manager uh, uh, because what dnac is doing is not really shown anywhere right so i want to um, run some debug on dnac to help you understand that what exactly dnac is doing right because you need to understand dnac uh, what 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 dnac does behind the scene right so now let's go to de demo so for demo first we will be seeing our uh, smart account and so this is this if you are not aware cisco software central again you can watch my video uh, regarding smart account to make yourself familiar uh, i'm going to go back to my smart software licensing and you can choose your smart account this is your smart account these are the different alerts related to that account you can click on inventory under inventory you have token general tab where you can uh, create token and use this token you can download this token and go to device and say uh, smart license register using this token but we are not going to do that uh, we'll let dnac handle that the uh, second tab is license so here is all my purchase license and in use licenses are shown here and uh, product instances if anything is registered those product will be shown here so well, i'm hoping that once we have uh, DNAC uh, register the network element those product instance should show up here all right let's go back to DNAC and within DNAC as I shown you the step one is to put CCO and license manager credentials so you can go to system settings under system settings setting come to Cisco credential and you can see um, CCO license and I can link your smart account so you can link your smart account I have already linked my smart account here using my credential you will use yours uh, then what you have to do you have to click on this cube icon and click license manager select license manager under license manager you can see switch router wireless ice uh, all these different product families uh, individual accounting how many licenses you are using how many licenses you have purchased all this bar graph is shown here we are interested in all license uh, that means it is going to show all the licenses irrespective of their product family at the same time you can perform action so let's filter our device the device which we are going to work on this is my filter okay so this is the space is now much cleaner and uh, let me log into the box itself so i am logged into my dnac let me start my dnac debug and we will go to switch here you would like to okay turn on basically everything is configured so i am not going to change any configuration here you can see the call home is configured and domain other things are configured so this is 
all set if you want to look at the version i am running i am running 17.1.1 and my license status is so license summary is eval expired it's unregistered state all right so let's go ahead and register it using dnac click on uh, select your device click on action manage smart license uh, there are other things uh, which you can use like changing the dnac license level virtual account and other things uh, if you have air gap solution you can use manage uh, license reservation and convert your traditional license into smart one for these but we are interested in manage smart licenses click on register select your virtual account yeah i want to register now so confirm saved all right and i have some uh, task going on previously so it may not be really useful uh, so let's go back and check in device itself so you can see that dnac is trying to log in and here my smart uh, account registration started so it's progressing and registration successful here you can see this is pretty good yes it was fast uh, very fast what i thought better than that all right so let's verify again show license status and you can see fantastic registration status is registered and we are compliance very nice so this was a quick one let me go back to product central and see if product instances can populate absolutely you can see the product instance is populated here and if we go to general you can see token created by cisco dna center that means we i didn't have to create a manual token here cisco dnac logged into my cssm created a token and use that token to register this network element and i can show you why i was running dnac logs because dnac logs is actually using that token so this is the token you can see we start with ey ends with uh, something ou and this is the token start with this is the token used by dnac this log is a little clutter but uh, i'm sure if you spend time uh, you can figure it out yes so i don't want to stretch the video anymore uh, i'm going to stop the video right now there are other features you can play around like uh, change dna license you can change the license level from essential to advantage most of uh, most of the license uh, within sda require advantage so you may have uh, you may run in a case where your network devices are running essential so you can change the advanced uh, license level and th that may require a reboot um, other options you can change the virtual account and if you have air gap solution that mean dnac cannot sorry network element cannot reach uh, directly to cssm uh, over internet connection you can use license reservation model so this is for now i hope you are finding my video useful please uh, feel free to provide comment um, and suggestions thank you